Gosei, why can't we find Robonite? I'm sorry, Troy. We just don't have the technology. Really? Well, how am I getting these new Ranger keys? <laughs> there is a simple explanation for that. Dang it, Gosei, I need to find him! I am Toys R Us exclusive, Legacy Lord Zed, Emperor of all I see. I can be yours for one easy payment of $19.99 by going to ToysRUs.com. Soon, I will have drained all of the goodness from you, and you will destroy the Earth. I am a protector of the environment, guardian of the Earth. You won't get away with this, Zed. I've already gotten away with it. Now go! I am Robo Knight. And I am here to destroy the Earth. And I am the Super Mega Force Silver Ranger from the distant Walmart of Long Beach, California. And I was eight ninety seven plus California sales tax. Nice dynamic. Ah, uh, it's time to go legendary. Mighty Morphin. Toys R Us exclusive. Green, Legacy, Mighty Morphin, Power Ranger! Send down the Xbox! You tin cans are going down! Hiya! Mighty Morphin! Toys R Us exclusive! White, Legacy, Mighty Morphin, Power Ranger! Hiya! Now it's your turn. I want you to meet Saba. Yeah. No. That plan was a failure. Hey guys, these came from Canada. They were sent to us by Will. So very big thanks to Will. Uh, that was very unexpected and really, really awesome. Thank you so much for sending these. I have not found these anywhere near me yet, but it looks like some people might be finding them. I know Lord Zed is at least now on the Toys R Us website, Toys R Us exclusive, so if you're looking at Walmart or Target, you probably won't find them. Those of you who are a little older might recognize this packaging, might take you back a little bit, back to the old days. Probably open these a few ways. I did this for most of them. Usually I just tear them open, but these, these are kind of nice. <laughs> there we go. So you can open them like that. Here's Tommy. So now I can answer my own question. Uh, when I first saw these, I was like, oh no, they better not be different moles after Samurai, then Megaforce, then Super Megaforce. You know, you have all these different scales going on now. But thankfully, it is the exact same mold. Absolutely no difference. But why would you buy this over this? Well, first, there's the cool packaging. But for the people that are saying figure costs this much and then the box costs that much, that's not entirely true. We'll start with the Dragon Dagger. This is just that kind of goldish plastic. I wouldn't really call it gold, but goldish color. Beige. Shiny beige. It's not really gold. This is fully painted. So I, I think this is the most painted Dragon Dagger we've had since, well, probably figure arts. There have been a lot of Green Ranger releases that have varying paint on the dagger. This is the best I've seen yet, outside of figure arts. The shield is actually painted a very nice shiny gold, whereas this is just kind of that same deal with the dagger. I don't know what to call it. It's like, not gold gold. Yeah, that's what I'll call it, not gold gold. And this is gold. It's really nice and shiny. It also has more black painted in, like inside the diamond. Also, his armbands are painted on, whereas this release does not have them. On the regular release, his Morpher is gold. On this one, it is silver, and you'll notice that he has the silver streaks. I know that's going to bother some people, but I actually like it, and I think it's cool that we now have one Green Ranger that does represent Dino Thunder and the Legend War, even though I hear that they actually digitally <laughs> painted the silver streaks off of the helmet for the actual war, but it was there when they filmed it, so this would have represented Dino Thunder and Super Mega Force. I would have gotten these no matter what, but the fact that they are the same scale as these guys, that's really fantastic. We're gonna have a lot of new figures now that are all the same scale, a lot of reds, a full team of Super Mega Force, full team of Mighty Morphin. I'm still hunting for new figures. There's a lot of new stuff out. I would have been annoyed if they had only done Jason with the shield, 
had these been a different scale, but thankfully that's not the case. We do have Jason without the shield. It's really the exact same figure, so he has a solid red sword, and I just dropped his gun, and he has a painted sword. So you can swap them. So if you want to have a non-armored Red Ranger, you can, and still have the detailed weapons. He drops his gun, but his gun is painted. Where'd it go? Comes with his sword, blade blaster, and another dragon dagger that is also nicely detailed. I still think this is probably one of the nicest looking Lord Zeds they ever made, which I want to say came out in 08 during the Jungle Fury line. However, for some reason, the, the staff doesn't have the pointy thingy at the end. I, I don't know what happened there. He is also not painted on the back. And as far as articulation goes, you can't turn his wrist. That kind of sucks. The new Legacy Lord Zed, you can. So you can flip his wrist around like that. Arm can turn, bend. It's really good articulation for arm. His head can turn all the way around. He can look backwards at you, just like that. His legs, have, like he's really very nicely posable. Where this one, yes and no. Eh. I still like the way he looks a little bit better. I still like the way he looks. I just think this one looks better between the two, but he does have better posability and more paint. We had the original Light Lord Zed, then the movie edition that didn't light up. We had an 8-inch Lord Zed. We had this Lord Zed, 2010, I think had two Lord Zeds, one small and one smaller. And I think this is the first Lord Zed that actually has uh, painted fingers, knuckles. Oh, and fingernails. They really got all his silver on this one. And then I also found Silver Ranger. I had to do that whole intro like in a couple hours, so I really had to cut a lot of stuff out of it to make it actually happen. I cut his silver spear in blaster mode. He does come with a super silver blaster and his trident thingy. This one's actually like painted a nice shiny gold like the Legacy Tommy Shield, but then this is just that kind of not gold gold color. And as I'm sure many of you guessed, he is not silver like he's shown on the box. Every single silver colored ranger is shown to be this beautiful, super shiny chrome color, and then it's just like this shiny-ish gray plastic. It's not bad, but when you look at the box and you're like, it could look like this, you know. But finally, we have a silver ranger. I found this in uh, Long Beach, Walmart. Oops. He is painted on the back, and all the gold on him is shiny. All right, I gotta get on the next video. And I'm not sure which one that is yet, so maybe next video we'll do our winner for the Green Ranger Key. We are going to be very, 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 very busy leading up to Morphicon, so which is kind of why I'm still sitting here procrastinating. Once again, a huge, huge thank you to Will for sending us this and some other good stuff. We'll have to do a mail vlog. We've got some good mail stuff from you guys. All right, thank you guys for watching. I'll be back soon with more videos. Please subscribe if you haven't. Thank you guys for watching, and good night.